Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and today I'm sharing a quick and easy recipe for no-bake cranberry pie. This pie is certain to become a favorite of your family and friends for the holidays. So let me show you what you're going to need. If you decide to make your own graham cracker pie crust, you are going to need some graham cracker crumbs, melted butter, and sugar. Now, if you decide to go the store-bought route, that's totally fine. Just make sure you get an extra large graham cracker crust, one that has two extra servings in it. You're also going to need some cranberry sauce. I am using the jellied cranberry sauce, but if you prefer the one with whole berries, that one will work as well. You're gonna need some chopped pecans, brown sugar, softened Philadelphia cream cheese, sour cream, and crushed drained pineapple. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start by making our graham cracker crust. So I'm just gonna pour my graham cracker crumbs, sugar, and my melted butter into a bowl and just stir it up. And once everything is all mixed up, you're just going to pour it into your pie pan. This is a nine and a half inch pie pan. And you're just gonna press that mixture on the bottom and up the sides of your dish. Okay, so I've set the crust aside. Now I'm taking that softened cream cheese and my jellied cranberry sauce and I am going to mix them together. Next, I'm gonna add in my chopped pecans and my crushed pineapple and give it another stir. And now I'm just gonna pour that cranberry filling into the graham cracker crust. Next, you're gonna take that sour cream and that brown sugar and just combine them both very well. Next, you're gonna take that sour cream mixture and spread it right on top. Okay, I have the sour cream spread all over the top. Now it is time to cover this pie and pop it in the freezer for about four hours. Okay, so it's been several hours and I cut a slice of pie and here it is on the plate. As you can see, I've garnished it with some whipped topping. It would also be really pretty if you had some fresh cranberries to add on top. This is such a good pie. You taste the slight tartness from the cranberries and the crunchiness from the pecans. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.